A visit to Marigat Sub County Hospital. The facility overcrowded with patients, both young and old, seeking treatment, while others are too weak to wait and be treated. Many patients exhibited malaria-like symptoms, such as fever, vomiting, and constant shivering. Doctors say the long rains, which could have provided a conducive environment for breeding of mosquitoes. According to the Chief Officer Health, Dr. Winnie Bore, 3,000 residents were tested, with 1,000 having reported positive for malaria. A surveillance team has been dispatched to other areas where malaria cases are extreme. It is just an upsurge that followed the heavy rain, rainfalls that were witnessed all over Kenya. And knowing that Baringo is one of the endemic malaria areas in our country, we've experienced it naturally just an upsurge and we are here to address. Our surveillance team on the ground are very ready. Our people are very ready on the ground. Lena Maitano and her child lay in waiting. They are so feeble to even speak to us. We later learn that all her family members have been affected by the disease. And worse still, their nearest source of assistance, a dispensary, is not equipped. Baringo South MP Charles Kamuren, who visited the affected in hospital, admitted a serious rise of malaria pleading to the national government to aid with drugs and spraying of malaria larvicides to stop their breeding. Tunaomba tena serikali kuu nao wapate kusaidiana na serikali ya county kwamba wakati hao wanapeana net na dawa hata nao serikali kuu wakuje wafanya research na kusaidia katika hali ya kuspray kwa sababu county peke yake hawawezi mambo kama hii. Last year alone 10 people died of malaria in Tiati for lack of drugs and poor access to health facilities. Just last week, one person died while 135 others were treated for malaria in El Geo Marquet, as the disease spreads amidst the lack of drugs in the country. The county had requested the national government to fast-track the supply of malaria drugs to be taken to areas that have reported rise in malaria cases. Speaking at that time, Deputy Governor Wesley Rotich said the infections had been occasioned by the early January short rains. The symptoms of malaria typically develop within 10 days to 4 weeks following the infection. In some cases, symptoms may not develop for several months. Common symptoms you should always look out for are shaking chills that can range from moderate to severe, high fever, profuse sweating, headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, anemia, muscle pain, convulsions, coma, and bloody stools. Karen Karimi, K24 Evening Edition.